up y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Maisha Marie if this is your first time here welcome today y'all you see I have a new style I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this install um, with these butterfly locks if you can see they are so cute this is a 20 inch butterfly lock from Toya Trisk y'all they sent me this hair and y'all know I love a good crochet hairstyle i like this i like this 20 inches it's the color 1b um let me show you how it looks out the pack um it does come in a little thing like this a little bundle um it's 10 of them on here so i have three packs in the front and you'll see um i did the illusion type of style in the front and i got real lazy in the back y'all but just bear with me okay don't do what i do i'm just teaching you a better way to be okay i i really like this style this is really cute so i have three packs in the front four packs in the back and i have one pack left over which is this okay so a total of eight packs in total yeah and um it's not as heavy as i thought it was gonna be because these are kind of at the bottom they do get kind of stiff um it is heavier than i would like it to be you know it's not too heavy on my head so i like that because i do have a small head and i have a lot of hair so i have to put more braids or twists or whatever it is in my hair to make it look full basically if that makes sense but anywho so um back to this hair y'all so yeah i really like this i like this length i wish i would have got something shorter so maybe next time i'll get some shorter y'all know i love short hairstyles but let me show you where it falls on me like right here y'all see duke sleep right here but um right here down to my waist so that's a pretty good length um yeah i'll have everything linked in the description box below so we can go ahead and get right into this video so y'all can see what i do again in the back i got lazy so if i was you i would just take my time and do the back so that it looks good and it lasts um but yeah let's go and get into this install all right y'all so this is the type of crochet hook you're gonna need um this is how i did my braid pattern it's the illusion style braids i did leave my edges out this is how the back of my hair looks now, but I will be changing that soon. Um, this is how the pack looked that was sent to me from Toya Tris. And I'm going to open up a pack so you can see how it looks. And basically, this is it. Okay, so you'll see me um, measuring how far apart I should put the locks with my finger. Um, you're just going to slide the crochet hook downward. Just like this make sure it's open and you're just gonna attach the loop onto the crochet hook close it pull it through and then put the end piece inside the loop and then pull tightly and basically you have installed your first lock Okay, make sure that all your knots are facing downward so that it lays flat like this and um, basically I'm just gonna repeat this step all the way through the top of my head just make sure that you are pointing your crochet hook in a downward position and they should lay flat okay y'all so I realized that that how I braided my hair down in the back was not gonna work that part that was just going down the middle was just too open so i did have to go back and braid my hair i did five braids and i made sure i had a braid going down the middle and you can see i just bobby pin my um ends together i'm gonna take this camille rose oil oil my scalp y'all i should have oiled my scalp before but just make sure you oil it it doesn't matter if it's before or after just oil it um, and as I was looking at the hair some more, I realized that the hair is different lengths 
I don't know about that, but I guess all of them supposed to make it to be uh, 20 inches, but yeah, it was different lengths. So I'm gonna use the shorter lengths at the top and then the longer lengths in the back. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do the same method that I did in the front. Make sure your crochet hook is pointing in a downward position, and you're just gonna pull, pull the um, hair through the loop and create a knot. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep following the same method, y'all. The back, I was all over the place in the back, y'all. I got lazy, I was tired. So, yeah, you see me. But um, after I got most of the hair installed, I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in empty spaces. Okay, y'all, so I finally finished my hair and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some styles that you can do with these butterfly locks. all right y'all so that is the end of the video y'all see how my hair turned out i cannot believe i forgot to do my edges y'all the hairstyle is just not complete without the edges and i forgot to do my edges but i went back and i did them and they look really cute i don't do a whole lot i just like a little you know a little baby hair action going on i still haven't mastered how the girls get the sideburns like mine's just curl up so it just why did i even take the time to do that i don't know but um yeah i like this style this is really cute and you know a shout out again to torturers for sending me this hair and i will see you guys in the next video